there! In this video, we're going to talk about painting techniques throughout the ages. And we're going to start from the Stone Age to the present day. About 2.5 million years ago to 1200 BCE, cave paintings were made using charcoal from burnt wood, clay, crushed stones, and other minerals. It is then mixed with their spit or animal fat to make paint. They use tools like twigs, moss, bones, hair, to produce different line weights and shapes. A Paleolithic art specialist, Michel Laure Blanchet, demonstrated their possible techniques used under a short amount of time, proving that a single artist can do all that. As time went by, more and more ways of making paint has been invented, such as binding pigment with milk, animal glue, and beeswax called encaustic. Paint was applied to decorate sculptures, like ceramic and marble statues or statuettes, and architectural structures found on Egyptian walls and especially on the island of Crete in Greece were fresco paintings which were made by attaching the pigments to wet plaster. Once the plaster dried, the paint becomes part of the material, which is the reason why after so many years their art still lives. Medieval parchments written and drawn with ink were colored using tempera where egg yolk with water was used to bind pigment. It dried very quickly and therefore cannot be blended. This produced images consisting of fine strokes of single-haired brushes. Next, in Gothic churches, glass was painted and stained. So it casted different colored lights. During the 15th century, oil paint emerged. It has the ability to imitate different textures and create realistic images. Since oil is what binds the pigments, it took time before the paintings dry and has a glossy finish. Now, let's rewind back to fresco. It is still well known, especially during the High Renaissance. Michelangelo experimented on this medium. He gathered ashes from the Mount Vesuvius back from the city of Pompeii to mix it with the plaster he makes. In making plaster paintings, usually two initial layers are done, called a ratio. Then, a final, paper-thin layer is applied called the intonaco. Meanwhile, Leonardo da Vinci painted the Last Supper on dry plaster instead of fresco. This resulted the painting to not last very long because some parts of it faded. As technology quickly advances and evolves, so did art. Acrylics, gouache, watercolor, and many more were invented next. Nowadays, digital paintings are rising. It is way easier to transport since it is a virtual work, and hundreds of various brushes can be experimented on. By using gadgets, softwares, and apps, you can make a painting. There's even something called virtual reality 3D painting now. This is only what we've discovered and invented so far. And to be honest, I'm excited to see what's next. So, let's make our own history.